Sophie Spoil All. I never saw a girl or boy so prone as Sophie to destroy, whatever she laid her hands upon, though tough as wood or hard as stone. With Sophie it was all the same, no matter who the thing might claim, no matter were choice or rare, for naught did the destroyer care. Her playthings shared the common lot, though hers they were she spared them not. Her dolls she oft tore limb from limb to gratify a foolish whim. Fie, said her mother, don't you know that if you use your playthings so, Chris Kringle will in wrath refuse to give you what you might abuse. Remember how in times gone by you've always found a rich supply of Christmas presents? But beware, you'll find no more another year. You'd think such words would surely tend to make this child her ways amend. But no, she still her course pursued, regardless of advice so good. But when her mother sees to explain that all her arguments are vain, says she, since I've done my best, I'll let experience do the rest. Meantime, the season of the year for Christmas gifts was drawing near, and Sophie doubted not that she an ample store of them would see. At length the happy hour was come, the children led into the room. Behold, with wonder and surprise, three tables set before their eyes. One is for Nelly, one for Ned, and both with choicest treasures spread. Mm-hmm.